I was on the job hunt for over eight months. And as of April 2019, I'm officially off of the job market and I secured a job with a 30% salary increase. Hi, I'm Shayna of The Well Five, and I create videos to help you eliminate debt, grow your income, and build wealth. And the goal of my job hunt was to secure a job with a six-figure salary, generous pay time off, great benefits, and a flexible work schedule. And I was able to do most of that, and it was as simple as hitting that like button. Okay, I'm just joking, but hitting the like button really helps out my channel and I would really appreciate it if you did give this video a like. But I'm gonna share with you in this video all the things that I did to be able to secure the job that I really wanted and share with you some of the pros and cons of my current job. Before securing this new job, I was a postdoctoral health sciences fellow at the Centers for Disease Control. And with that fellowship, I had up to five years to stay within that fellowship. And I still technically have up to five years, but I started in September, 2017. And my last day was in April, 2019. But pretty much since I started in September, 2017, I started to look for jobs because I knew that this was a postdoctoral fellowship. It was a training program and you know I wasn't paid um, to my full potential. And I wanted to be able to secure something more permanent with better benefits um, and everything because basically as in the postdoctoral fellowship, I had about a $70,000 um, stipend. And out of that stipend, they pay for my health insurance. And then I would get the rest of the money after my health insurance was paid. And I had 10 days of um, leave time. So that was for vacation, sick, anything that I wanted to take off, I had 10 days to do that. I had 10 federal holidays off as well and I had no other benefits. Actually, I wasn't even able to um, have a 401k or 403b for savings plan. And all fellowships, no matter where they are, um, a graduate fellowship, there's a law, a tax law that says that you can't actually put money into an individual retirement account, also known as an IRA unless you have outside income to be able to do that. And so the position that I had was pretty limited in terms of you know, benefits, um, time off, um, what I could do, the salary that I brought in. And so pretty much since I started that fellowship, I started to look for other positions. But I didn't really pick up my job search or get really serious and intentional about it until about August, 2018. And I started to apply for jobs within the federal government, outside of the federal government, within Georgia, um, all up and down the East Coast, and and in the like in Texas and California, Philadelphia, Rhode Island, North Carolina, uh, where else? Florida, um, New York. <laughs> I applied for jobs everywhere. Once August 2018 rolled around. And since then, I had several phone interviews. I don't even know how many phone interviews I had. I had quite a bit. Pretty much, I would say, pretty much every job that I applied for, I at least had one phone interview for. There was, you know, quite, a, there were a few that I didn't have any, like I didn't hear back from, but I think I had a pretty good rate of getting at least a phone interview. Even for positions that I kind of was like, I don't even know why they want to talk to me, but they, you know, they reached out to me and at least did a phone interview. And then um, I had several um, job interviews that resulted in like second or third round interviews that nece weren't necessarily the last round of interviews, but I had more than one round of interviews. I had three job offers out of all of the interviews that I've done. And my first offer came in October 2018. And then my second offer came like within the next week or two after that. And then I didn't get my third offer until this current position that I accepted. One of the top goals that I had with securing a new job was to get a six figure salary. And so I'm sure you are like very curious to know if I was able to secure a six figure salary. So, 
I actually was not able to get a six-figure salary. So my current salary is $90,000 a year. So it's pretty close and I'm very happy with the salary that I was offered um, because I thought it was commensurate with you know my job responsibilities and I also didn't have to move and so my expenses would stay the same. And yeah, so I was pretty happy about it. I also was able to get a lot of benefits. And this job that I have is technically a contractor position. So I work for a company called the CDC Foundation. And actually it was um, mandated by Congress to create this this organization called the CDC Foundation to be able to support the goals of the CDC the Centers for Disease Control. And so um, I am a field employee. So the CDC Foundation employs me as a field employee to be hosted at um, the CDC to do a particular job. And so I'm an epidemiologist and I'll be working on maternal mortality surveillance. And so basically just a little gist about what I'll be doing is that I'll be doing um, data analysis and also helping to support states to analyze their data from maternal mortality review committees. So basically maternal mortality review committees are set up in some states or in some cities and basically when a woman who was pregnant within the past year died, they will review her case. So they'll review her medical records, maybe even interview family members. Um, look at the autopsy stuff, the death certificate, birth certificate of the, the infant, and all types of things to kind of figure out like, was her death associated with being pregnant? So would she have died if she was not pregnant? Is basically the question that the committees ask themselves. And they then ask like, could her death have been prevented? And if it could have been prevented, what could we do to prevent other people from having the same outcome. So basically, um, I'm gonna be involved in that process of helping the states to review the data that they have and to analyze it and actually put it to pretty good use. So the project that I'm working on is grant funded. And so this particular project will only be funded up until September, 2020. So that's next year. And so I have about a year and a half to work on this project. And so, unfortunately, this position isn't long term, but I am happy about it because I've been able to, you know, move up, um, get a higher salary and get more experience doing things that will help me to secure a permanent position that, you know, doesn't have a time limit on it. And so I'm pretty happy about this next step or this next job that, or this job that I have, right? I'm also happy about the benefits that I was able to get. So um, some of the benefits that I was looking for with a new job was um, lots of pay time off. <laughs> and so um, previously I only had 10 days that I could use for um, anything. And I found it very limiting in my previous, in my postdoctoral fellowship because I had to take off days to go and do interviews, which I found kind of odd because the position was um, a training, it was for training. And the idea was that I was going to get a new job and that everything I was doing in that training would help me to get a new job. So I kind of found it odd that I always had to take off days to go interview because they were fully aware that I was going to get a new job at some point and that they were supporting me in that effort to get a new job, but they weren't fully supportive in the idea that I had to use up the limited days that I had to go on job interviews. And if you think about it, if I had to take off um, one day for every job interview and if several jobs asked for multiple rounds of interviews in 10 days, I wouldn't have had time to take off any other, you know, for any other reason, like let's say if I got sick or anything like that. So I, I was kind of frustrated about the fact that I didn't really have that many days because of the nature of the position that I had previously. But fortunately in this position, they actually award you with pay time off based off of your work experience. So if you have ever worked before, it doesn't have to be with the company or you know, it could have been anywhere, they will award you with pay time off based off of your previous work experience. And so it's broken off into different tiers and they basically determine how much time off you get based off of a review of your resume. 
And so they haven't done my resume review to determine how many pay, pay days off that I get, but um, the minimum amount is 15 days and you actually get them all up front. So if I wanted to take off time now, I can take time off. I don't earn the days, I don't accrue them throughout you know, the year. They just give it all up to me up front and I have to use all the days before the end of the year. So I will have um, before April 2020 to use up all the days that I've given. And so basically I'm kind of in a really great spot because as I mentioned, this position only goes until um, September 2020. So in April 2020, I'll be given another set of days up front and then I'll have to use those all up before my contract expires. And so I find that to be pretty cool that they give them all to you up front. Um, in terms of other benefits, uh, one of the benefits that I'm really, really excited about and is part of, you know, the whole goal to build wealth, and that is that I'll be having a 403B plan. And so a 403B plan is similar to your traditional 401k that typical corporations have. However, since the CDC Foundation is a nonprofit organization and many other nonprofit organizations, so if you're a teacher, you work for a university, a school, or if you work for a, you know, a nonprofit a, um, or anything like that, those tend to um, fall into the 403B plans. And so the 401Ks are for like the for-profit corporations, and then you have the 403B 403B plans for the nonprofit organizations. And so uh, with my current co employer, they give me up to a 10% contribution on my 403B. So what I have to do to get that 10% is I only have to contribute 2% to get 10%. So if we are factoring how much money I'm going to get based off of a $90,000 salary, that means that I'm going to be getting an extra $9,000 if I at least contribute 2% of my salary. So to me, I am almost there. I'm still close, but not yet there at the six figure mark because through the salary and the 403B contribution, I will be at $99,000. So I'm really happy about that. Another thing I wanted to get with a new job was a um, flexible work schedule. And so I wanted to get a flexible work schedule because I wanted to free up time so that I could commit to putting out videos for this YouTube channel. And you guys know I do a lot. So I, you know, work full time. I also teach on the side. Um, I teach epidemiology to undergrads in an online course. And I'm supposed to contribute uh, about nine hours per week towards teaching that class. I also do Grubhub and Instacart and Upwork, you know, from time to time. And so that takes up time once I leave my full time job. And then um, doing YouTube, I have to fit that in. I also have a personal life <laughs> as well. So I have to do all of those things within the same you know, time that everyone is given. And so I had to figure out a way that I was gonna maximize that time. And so basically I figured that if I could get a flexible work schedule, I could maximize the time even more. For one week of the pay period, I work five days out of the week for nine hours per day. So I get in to work at 7 a.m. and then I leave work at 4.30 p.m. Then for the second week of the pay period, I only work four days out of the week. And so I will work four days from 7 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. So between those two weeks, I will have worked 80 hours, which is how much people typically work in a two week pay period and I end up with one day off. And then also I'm allowed to telework as well. And so I'm able to telework up to three days a week, but as of right now, I'm only teleworking one day a week. And then um, in about a few months, I'll get um, additional telework days that I can do as well. So that adds to the flexibility for um, this new job. And I really like it because right now, this Friday, <laughs> I am, you know, at home recording videos and I'm able to, you know, respond to comments, edit videos, do everything that I need to do. And I already worked my entire, you know, 80 hour work 
time um, between nine days instead of between 10 days. Those are all the pros to the new job that I have. Overall, I'm really happy about my new job, but there are a few slight negatives or cons to this current position. So one of the obvious ones is that the position is short term. It's only going to be until September 2020. And so that means that I'm going to have to look for jobs pretty soon. Um, one thing that could potentially happen is that there might be more money given to this position or they could decide to bring me on as a full-time employee of the government um, by opening up a position. However, those type of things tend to happen very rarely and if they do happen they um take forever <laughs> so um that is a possibility but i'm not really counting on it and so instead i know i'm gonna have to get back on the job market and i actually even applied for another job <laughs> this past week um as a health scientist a full-time employee position at the CDC um, and I applied for it. You might be thinking like, why would I apply for a job when I just started one? The thing is with the government, the hiring process like takes sometimes like up to a year. And so <laughs> even though I just applied, it's not like I'm gonna start that job like in the next month or so. I'm really excited about this new phase in my life. I turned 32 today and I was able to get a job that I really like with great benefits and the salary that I want. And I just know that I'm gonna be able to make a lot of things happen in this new year of life. So drop down in the comment section and tell me happy birthday or congratulations on a new job or ask me any questions that you have that I might not have covered about this job that I have. And I'm really excited about where we're gonna go with this channel now that I have new income. And I appreciate you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.